okay, I know everybody and their mama, including me, has talked about, is talking about, is going to talk about AI, but, but I've discovered some new AI tools that are life-changing, game-changing to this whole like business creatorship world. So I want to share them with you guys because I think that like, I don't know, it can make your workflow more efficient and I'm finding myself using AI more and more. So let's talk about five tools that I think creators and business owners should be using in like the AI realm. Hey howdy, hey y'all, what is up? My name is Jessica. I am glad that you are here. So listen, uh, the summer got busy. I took my videos down to one a week and then I skipped last week. Like I took them down to one a week thinking, oh, well, I'll be able to keep up with that. And then <laughs> I wasn't, but you know, it's okay. And there's really exciting news coming on this channel super soon um, in a few weeks and you're going to be excited for it. I'm excited for it, all the things, and it's going to keep content pumping your way constantly. But I have taken on quite a few projects this summer and in doing so, I've tried to figure out how to best use AI myself and my team to like keep everything running really, really well. And I've even taken on some personal projects that I've been using some of these AI tools for too. And I actually had a different video scheduled for today, but I was like, no, we're going to have to talk about this. Okay. So the first one we're going to talk about is just the one everybody talks about. Like it should be no surprise. And that is chat GPT. But the cool thing about this is that I have been learning new and fun ways to use it and like using it in ways that I didn't think about before. So with ChatGPT, it's basically a text-based, if you're not familiar, it's like a text-based AI assistant. And you can put in prompts and like get it to do things for you like write blog posts or scripts for videos. The other day I needed to write some scripts for some ad spots for some videos that I have coming up. And I was just like feeling creatively tapped out. Like I just, ugh, it just like wasn't there. And I was like, you know what? Let me go to chat GPT, tell it what I need. And boy, did that skyrocket my ideas and got the script off the ground and like all the things. It's just such a great tool to be able to do things like that. But in addition to that, it's like a better version of what Google would like to be, you know, because Google essentially is, you know, crowdsourcing answers, right? So like, oh, I need to know this thing. Let me go to Google and search it. And when you search it, or as my kids say, search it up, when you search it up, then you find all of these answers from people who have an agenda in some way and have written like blog posts or whatever to like show up in Google, right? But if you use ChatGPT, it is going out into the world into the Googles of the world and it is searching through and combing through all of those things to give you the more common advice. So just to give you an example, I am starting a booster club for sports at our middle school. And that's one of the like personal projects I've taken on. And uh, there's a lot of like, how do I do X, Y, or Z? How do I get this done? And when you go to the internet, there's not a lot of helpful information. And so I went to ChatGPT and I was like, how do I start a nonprofit in North Carolina? That's how I started this question. And then it's going to pop out all of these things that I need to do and give me like a general guideline. And it's combing the entire internet to bring me this information. Then if I need to know something else, like what forms do I need to fill out or what things do I need in place? I can then do that too, right? So it's like, okay, define your mission and your purpose, create a name, choose a board of directors, create your bylaws, file the order articles of incorporation, apply for an EIN, obtain necessary permits and licenses, apply for tax exempt status, open a bank account, maintain compliance, seek funding, and consult professionals as needed. Y'all, that's spot on. That is spot on with what you'll find if you go to Google and ask these same questions. But the interesting part is, if I go to Google, it takes me 82 hours to find all of this and it's not organized in this way. Now, if I need to know more about the tax exempt status, I can be like, okay, tell me more about how to apply for tax exempt status, you know, and ChatGPT will come back with more. 
This is just one way that we can use ChatGPT in like finding information way quicker than we could find information before. And actually it reminds me, you know how you, um, if you find a recipe or if you need a recipe and you go to Google and you find the recipe, you go to a food blogger's blog and they tell you their whole life story before they get to the recipe. Just use ChatGPT. How do I make hard boiled eggs in the oven. It's going to comb the internet, get past all that hugabaloo, and it's gonna give me the stuff, right? Preheat your oven, prepare the eggs, bake the eggs, prepare a bath for them afterwards, you done, okay? So it can be a really great like truncated search, which is really nice. In addition to all the things we already knew it could do, like write scripts and things like that. And the really cool part about ChatGPT is that it can learn. So if I'm, for instance, wanting to write the bylaws for this booster club that I'm trying to start, or I'm trying to write a script and I need to tell it some things, I can give it information before I ask it its question. So like I'm creating a booster club called X, Y, or Z, and I need to write the bylaws Here's an example of bylaws for other booster clubs. Help me write the bylaws for this new booster club. And it will go and read the, the things that I give it and then it will pop out another answer. Really freaking cool. Okay, the second tool I wanna to talk about is a tool I talk about all the freaking time and they are actually the sponsor of this video and that is ClickUp. So with ClickUp they have chat GPT-esque tools built in. So if you don't know what ClickUp is as a whole, it is the software that I have used for like four plus years at this point to manage my entire business, my entire content plan, all the things. And it is literally made to be like a project management tool on a high level. And I personally think it's far superior to the other guys out there because it is out of the box awesome and it has all of the features built in that you could possibly ever need, like a calendar view and a task view and a list view and all of these things that are gonna make managing your project, managing a team, managing your content so much freaking easier, but now they have AI. So there's several different ways you can use AI in ClickUp, but let's just start on a task. So I've got a task open and I've created this new task. I can add a description, I can add a subtask, whatever, but I can also hit use AI tools and it will pop up this list of AI tools that I can use. If I'm writing a description, I can do the forward slash button and it will also give me the option to like write with AI and do other AI tools too. But let's just stick with this like use AI tools thing because it's really fun. So it's gonna give me the option to write with AI, improve my writing, generate a template, write an email, write an SOP, write a blog post, make a table with data, and then I can actually switch to other, you know, departments if you will. I did SEO and it can write a blog post, write featured snippet text, write the blog titles, generate keyword clusters, generate FAQs. Um, if I switch to social, it can create a content calendar, create social media campaigns, um, generate replies to comments, run an influencer marketing outreach. Like this is really freaking cool. So if I click create ad copy here and I want to write an ad for my business to like show up in front of the right people, I can just tell it who the target audience is. So target audience is business, or let's do um, online business owners, okay? And then my product or service, let's do my course called Course Academy. So a course, hold on, a self-paced course. And by the way, with AI, you wanna give it as much information as possible because otherwise it's gonna assume things and sometimes like, you know, assuming is not good. There's a Southern saying, when you assume you make an ass out of you and me, just saying. Okay, so back to the point here, back to the prompt. A self-paced course called Course Academy. And I do have a registered trademark on that. So we gotta put the little online business owners, how to, harness their expertise into a course, create the course, and have a $10,000 launch. Okay, so like, let's say that's what we want. We want the tone of voice to be friendly. Um, we might even do humorous. Let's do humorous, leave the creativity on high, and generate. Y'all, this is so 
cool. Uh, there are so many ways that you can do this and so many people struggle with things like SEO and ad copy anyway. So if you can bring it into a software like ClickUp and just like have it do it for you. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what I said. Introducing Course Academy, the ultimate self-paced course for online business owners. Ready to turn your expertise into a profitable course? Yes, please. Um, now you can ask it to like try again or edit the inputs and have it like redo it again. It's really freaking cool. It's really freaking cool. And if you want to try out ClickUp for yourself and be able to try out all these AI tools, just go to heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp and you can get up to 20% off on one of their business plans. And you can also try it for free. So heyjessica.com forward slash ClickUp and thank you ClickUp for sponsoring this video. All right, so another one of my favorite AI tools is Descript. And if you don't know what Descript is, it's basically an editing software that will help you edit podcasts, so audio content and video content. And they have several AI features built into Descript, but two of my favorite tools to use in Descript is the background remover. So in a video before something like AI existed and before you could do stuff like this in Descript, if you wanted to manipulate your background. If you wanted to film a video that like you could change the background or like whatever, you would want a green screen and you'd have to be able to edit that in that way. Now you can actually pull your videos into Descript and tell it to remove the background with its AI background removing tool and it will just like remove it and then you can like replace it with other things. It's freaking cool. And the other part of AI built into Descript that I think is mind blowing is editing podcasts and like inserting things in podcast with an AI version of your voice. That's kind of terrifying, but it's kind of cool all at the same time. So basically, let's say I was filming a podcast or I was recording a podcast and I forgot to say something or I forgot to add a word or um, in some, for some reason I used the wrong word because I do that sometimes. I could be like, okay, I want to remove this word and I want to replace it with this other word. Well, let's just use a typo I made this morning. Let's say I use the word experience when I meant to use the word expertise. What it's going to do when I tell it to like replace that word with this other word is it's going to kind of comb through my voice and you do have to give it like voice samples and things like that, but it's going to comb through my voice and it's going to then figure out my inflection and my tone and all of these things. And it's going to replace the word experience with expertise in that audio. It's bananas and it will sound like me. If you're a YouTuber, this one's going to blow your freaking mind, blow your mind. Are you ready? VidIQ, which is basically a YouTube growth tool. It gives you lots of tools to be able to like make the most of your YouTube experience. One of the things that it has recently added is an AI generator specifically for helping you with YouTube and helping you plan YouTube and all the things. Okay. So I'm just on the like beta for this and like the test side. I'm not even logged into my VidIQ account, but let's say I want to create a video about digital products. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to hit go. And it is going to come up with a title, keywords, thumbnail direction, the description, and even a script. WTF. Like, like, oh my gosh. So right here, it's like unveiling the ultimate digital product showcase. Now that is not my words. I probably would never call it that, but it can be a really great place to start. That's another thing we need to remember about AI. AI is a tool, it is not a replacement, and it can be a really great place to start. VidIQ literally has knowledge on what does well on YouTube. So if you feed it the right information, then it's hopefully going to spit out the right information on the other end. It wrote me a description, it gave me keywords, all of these things. I think this is not quite right. Let me go back and try this again. How to create and sell digital products. Let's just, let's just make it a bit more what I want. Okay. And hit go here. Now this looks a little bit better. So mastering the art of digital product creation and sales. Again, not how I would title my video because it's not the tone of voice I would use, but it's a really great place to start. So it's got me a description. It has me a script. It has keywords, thumbnail backgrounds, all of these things that I can use as a starting point. Now, Remember, we have tools like ChatGPT and uh, ClickUp's AI that's built in. So we can combine some of these tools and I can be like, okay, let me copy this script over to ChatGPT and be like, hey, 
This is a great starting point, but let's make this script more fun and include more things about X, Y, or Z and get ChatGPT to get the script where I want it. So now, instead of starting with a blank slate, I have used AI to help me figure out my YouTube videos, to help me figure out the title and the description and what the thumbnail should look like and all of these things based on several tools like used together. VidIQ has this like content generator, but they also just have the title generator, the channel name generator, and ChatGPT for YouTubers. So it's literally like an assistant or a YouTube coach, if you will, powered by ChatGPT through VidIQ so you can ask it questions and get it to help you do the things. Like I say, this is freaking Oh my gosh, so awesome. This last one is like one of my favorites, for sure, hands down. And when I do what I'm about to do with it, it's probably gonna be one of your favorites too, okay? Photoshop, like Adobe Photoshop, came out with this new thing called Generative Fill. And I've used it a few times. I actually shared on my Instagram account when I was using this for the first time because I had done some photos of myself and next to me in one of the photos was a big old trash can and I was trying to replace it with a bush and Photoshop thought I wanted a race car but eventually we got there and it is a really really cool feature so let me show you the power of this what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a screenshot of my background right now and I am going to pull it into Photoshop and get it to fill out more of this frame. Get it to show more of the frame we're working with. Get it to build out the background more. And I'm doing all of this with Photoshop's AI generative fill. I'm telling it, hey, like, base it on what's going on here. That's friggin' cool. That changes the game as far as photography goes. How many times have we had, like, people in the way in a photo? Or we've had things that, like, don't quite look right in a photo but there's not really been a good tool to do it and you can do it manually, but it still doesn't look right. It's a friggin' game changer. So yeah, I have been mind blown to say the least by AI tools lately and have loved playing around with them. And there's like a million more. These are just the ones that I think are beneficial to creators and business owners so that y'all can go out and make your lives easier because why not, right? I would love to hear below if you've been playing with any of these or any other AI tools and like, what your feelings are on the whole AI thing um, because I know there's mixed feelings and I know that there's other tools out there and I'd love to have that conversation below. And until next time, peace out, Girl Scout.